Uh, you know, like we said on, on draft night, we, uh, we are very, very excited to add these two young men to our basketball team. Uh, it was our feeling as we went through the process all year and then went through the process of, of watching the pre-draft camp, evaluating film, doing background checks, uh, everything that goes into it, that these two guys were going to be a perfect fit for our team moving forward, really on a lot of different levels. And the, the first thing that is, that is so important to Tom, to myself, to everybody on our staff, is that these guys, we feel, uh, both have the makeup and the character that we look for in players. They're, they're both going to be workers. Um, they both come from winning programs. Um, we, you know, we dug deep into their background as far as high school coaches, AAU coaches, college coaches, and everything we heard about both of these guys was extremely positive and, and that it would be a fit with the core guys that, that we already have. Uh, the second thing is, from a basketball standpoint, we talked about this on draft night, was one of the things we were trying to do is improve our ability to shoot the ball from the perimeter. And I think both of these guys have shown that, that they can make perimeter shots, three-point shots at a high, high level. Uh, I think both of these guys, uh, whatever their ceiling is, they'll reach it because of their work ethic. Uh, Again, they both come from winning programs. They come from programs where they've been coached hard by very good basketball coaches. Um, in, in Tony's case, we saw a guy that could be a secondary handler that, that would push it out in transition, that could play off pick and roll some, that would even play some point guard um, and, and initiate office, offense out front. In Eric's case, you know, we really haven't had – uh, a guy that's a, a stretch four, and, and we think as he continues to progress, you know, it'll give us an ability to space the floor. So, really, really excited to have both these guys to our team. Um, they're both raring and ready to go. They'll start workouts here this week. They'll be with our summer league team in Las Vegas, and I think they're both counting on spending uh, August and September in the gym and, and, and getting ready for camp to start in October. So. With that said, we'll open it up uh, for any questions for either the young man or myself or Tom. Questions? Uh, both of you guys, congratulations, first of all. Uh, I guess I'll let each of you address it. Uh, how, how do you expect to contribute your first year here in Chicago? Well, I, I expect, you know, to learn from the veterans, you know, just try to pick up on the plays and just, just try to work as hard as I can, just learn from as much as I can. Yeah, same thing, uh, you know, come in and learn as much as I can from the coaches and the players and, um, you know, just do whatever is asking to, to help the team win. So, Tony, you talked a little bit about this on draft night. Uh, what, what did Coach Alford mean for the development of your game? Oh, he, he did a lot for me, you know, he taught me a lot about the game, you know, helped me get, get my football right, and learn how to play the game, you know, college ball, and help, help me work hard, and anything that I need to improve on, he helped me improve on it. Can you guys both talk about what it means to put on the Bulls uniform, you know, after all these years of playing, uh, playing basketball as a kid, what, what will it mean to you? Oh, it's a blessing, you know. I thank God every day for giving me the opportunity to put on the Bulls jersey. I've been watching the Bulls ever since I was a little kid. And just have the opportunity to put on a jersey on, you know, that means a, a whole lot to me. You know, obviously it's a, it's a great organization, you know, great coaches, great people here. You know, it's in a great sports city. Um, so, you know, it's just an honor to be here, honestly. Tom, I was curious, so with, especially with regard to Tony, but both players, what indicators did you see in scouting these guys that convinced you that especially Tony could play your style of defense and really conform to the way you want players to play defense in the NBA? Well, it's not its not just defense. It's uh, We want them to be complete players. We want them to fit in. I think it's, there's a big adjustment going from college to the pros. Uh, the first part is, is uh, the work part, so they have to learn how to become pros first. Then they have to learn our system, uh, and then they have to learn the NBA. So there's a learning curve. Uh, we both think we think they're, they're both great workers. Uh, it'll be a good fit.
Eric, uh, have you had any contact with Joe Kim Noah yet? And uh, if so, you know, what have you guys, uh, what have you guys had to talk about? Um, yeah, actually, Joe called me uh, on draft night after, after after the draft, and he was just uh, he was real excited, uh, as was I. And we, we just you know, we were just talking back and forth. He was really excited. I was coming here. I was really excited to you know have the opportunity to come here. And honestly, it's nice to you know, know a guy on the team. Um, but you know. Just, just real pumped up. He was, you know, he gets real fired up. He was, he was pretty fired up. For both of you, uh, Tom is a very defensive-oriented coach. He works hard with the players. What, are, what do you know about him, and what are your expectations working with him? Well, my expectations is just, you know, just being, being them all every day. You know, just try to learn every day, and just trying to pick up as fast as I can, and try to fit with the team. Yeah, like you said, there's a learning curve, and you know, come in. And my my expectation is just come in and, and work every day, and try to you know learn as fast as possible, and you know just do whatever I can um, you know, to help the team.